you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! <laughs> Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants! Absorbent and yellow and porous! Ian is in here, and welcome to SpongeBob Battle Bikini Bottom, rehydrated. Now, I'm gonna tell you one thing. This was my... back in 2003. Because... this was probably my favorite game of all time back then. I played it every day, all day. All day, every... All day, every day. Did you see that? I mean, just look at it now. It originally came out in 2003. Excuse me, just look at it. Better graphics, it's 3D. Rehydrated or remastered. It's just absolutely amazing. I remember growing up, like around 2003, I played this game all day, every day, like I just said. I know sometimes I'd skip school or just say I'm sick, like, oh my god, my stomach hurts, just to stay home and play the game. I'm not even joking. But I didn't do it all my life, though. But eventually I stopped playing it because my PS2 died or it stopped working and I pretty much just let the disc on my shelf without even touching it. I'm just like, oh my god. Like, I wish they'd make a remastered version of this game. And I completely... It was a complete accident. I totally did not know that this was rehydrated. I was just watching some cartoon, like, little videos and I just saw one of the comments saying, I hope they remaster SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for the King Bottom. I'm just like, what? I looked it up, came out in June 2020. And I was like, oh, I gotta get into this. I got it straight away, and oh my god, I cannot wait. Wait, what the hell? Thought I heard something. But, yeah, let's do it. Cannot wait. Continue, yeah, because... I played a little bit of it, and trust me, it's fun. It's just like the 2003 version, except everything's just more, you know, better. It's the same stuff, the same bosses, same, you know, collectibles, like the little flowers like you see it around uh, Spongebob's house. All of that's the same. And, like, you pretty much have to go all around the place just to collect them. I pretty much collect every single flower I see because you have to collect them to go in certain areas. And that's going to be a big thing in this game. Especially unlocking, like, collectibles, like a movie theater. But I'll just let you see while we, as we get going. So, let's do it. Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary Today, it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command! One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a genius. Answer yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch! <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on, I want to get a photo for my scrap. Whoop. Hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? Oh, no, 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 wait, wait! But I'm your master! I made you! No, no! Oh, my good China! Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, 
Only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. Or Zorlon. Or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. <laughs> it's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But, Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Schnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this'll work? Sure. Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell. Then I said the magic wishing word and shook it. And in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning. <laughs> Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Wow! Uh, Gary, did you do that? Wow. Yeah, Gary, it sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Um, how do I read the signs? Meow. Oh, okay. Press this button to read the signs. Meow. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. So here we are. Look at it. See, the characters feel more emotional. Like, you saw how he was, you know, slumped over like that, just felt kind of sad. Your bikini bottom stinks. Yeah, it's pretty much from that robot of Plankton's. God, who doesn't love SpongeBob? Breaking news! Bikini bottom residents have been attacked by a raging torrent of robot horror! So much for fixing this quietly. See? <laughs> See? Authorities are not sure who is responsible for unleashing the mechanical menaces, but they have assured us that the person is in big, big trouble. Uh-oh. See how they're more emotional? Did I say big trouble? I meant so enormous that it's hard to comprehend trouble. We'll keep you posted as this tragic story unfolds. Tragically, we're sure. <laughs> now, sometimes when you hit the TV... <clears throat> A big robot Patrick appears. Look at the swing. Because back then, he was just like... He just swung it around, and yeah. No little rainbow effect, no bubbles coming out, just a little bubble blower, and boom. There's, um... That seahorse of Spongebob. That episode with, um... The coin slot. Um, the two dudes thought it was a, um... A horse that you ride, and it kicked, it pretty much stuck it in the, it stuck it in the, <laughs> and he kicked him off a cliff. So yeah, like I'm saying, these little flowers, they have certain colors. Red is one, yellow is two, I think green is five, blue is uh, ten, and the purple is fifty. Or no. I think a hundred, but let's read this. A note from Mr. Krabs. <sighs> and it even smells sweaty, just like him. See how they're more reactable to the, um, the little scenes? 
Ahoy there, SpongeBob! As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been, er, uh, promoted to head shiny object collector. Wow! A promotion! That's right! A promotion! So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. So shiny objects are very valuable, maybe trade to help sponsor along this quest. Yep, exactly. That's a big thing in this game. That and the golden spatula, like you see right here. Not the golden spatula, but the shiny objects to venture on in this quest. And the, uh, the enemies react. Your allies react when you hit them. So I have ten. Maybe a little bounce on the old bed. And your health is underwear. Because you have no idea how many pairs of underwear SpongeBob actually wears. Salty Spittoon. He thought it was a wig. Or one of the... Wretch? I think that's what his name was. And it vibrates my controller so I might get hit too. So three pairs. I feel like a new sponge. Sandy? <laughs> yeah, she saw me getting dressed. This is where I keep all my old comic books. This is where most of the stuff is. Collecting it in here. I love opening Collecting it. almost everything you see in here. Yep. Stonewall Tiki's, the Viking helmet. This is where I keep all my old comic books. That's literally what you just said. So you get more coins. See, there's the green one on the very top. This is where I keep I all my old comic books. He says that one more time. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. push. push yeah, push, I remember push. that quote. I gotta be quick here. And there's a sock. You'll know what they're for later on. Matter of fact, you can probably already tell just by thinking about it. Who likes socks more than anybody in SpongeBob? And no, don't you dare say the Flying Dutchman. <laughs> Cause he wears one on his tail. Boy, Patrick will be glad Patrick. to have this back. And I want that little uh flower. You gotta be quick with this ball. Like, as soon as you jump on it, get ready to jump off. And SpongeBob hangs on cliffs. So don't think that's if you don't make it, if you don't make the jump, you can hang on. So you gotta have one of those just to get out. And there it is. Yeah, I remember in the PS2 version, it took so long for the for the player to get the golden spatula. It just it just froze for about ten seconds. And this is where all the places you can go. So that's Patrick. See, it didn't show the pictures in the original. It just showed the socks, like how many you need, and they're just spinning around. Mr. Krabs collecting shiny objects. Yep. When I play the full game, with no commentary, I'm going to do everything. That's what I'm going to do. See, Flying Dutchman, Four Cannons, Sand Mountain, Eight Snowmans, and Ten Socks. There's socks in every location, except for the bosses. Like the Chum Bucket, uh, Industrial Park, and the Poseidon. Goo Lagoon, Five Balloons, The City, Steering Wheels, Mermelayer, Forbes Switches or Buttons, SpongeBob's Dream, Just Five Socks, Kelp Forest, Six Campers, Rock Bottom, Six Paintings, and Jellyfish Field, One Jellyfish Jam. Okay, let's get out of here and meet the world. Ah, uh, 
there is nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. They even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you can get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. Sneaky old plankton. Better than hit him. There's on the fire tiki. Pretty much like one, one little up against and watch. Lightning bolt, boom. And now that's a shh, that's it a shh tiki. You have to do this. You have to sneak up on it. Hang on. I'm holding the L2 button. You have to sneak up on it, and then stop, boom. Hey, SpongeBob! I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. Bubble buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. But uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, something about new bubble moves? Right! Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Try it out. Got the Viking helmet. Look how awesome everything looks. It's just more clear. Alright, Spun- er, Patrick, what you got? Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my it's whole like right sock in my collection. Face. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends See, for? See, it's th more 3D. Look at SpongeBob's um brown pants. Look, it actually looks like it was sewn or knitted. Okay then, for every 10 socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless oh, you. Oh, good old Patrick. Hey, you! Patrick needs to do You know, laundry. you literally said that right in front of him. He clearly don't care. These are the regular tikis. Look at them, when you get nervous, they... They get nervous. There's another, um, health upgrade. Four pairs of underwear. If you find the golden underwear, you get another underwear. Just give me one second. I want to go through every single bit of this area before I actually go into the jellyfish fields. Because that's the very first one you have to go through. Because there's no golden special, so you have to... You have to, um, trade to get into a new area. Like Goo Lagoon and Downtown, which is down there. I'm gonna go through every single one of them. Let's go into Squidward. SpongeBob's neighbor. First, those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning. And now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? So I really get, or Squidward really gets on my nerves sometimes, but hey, he's funny. I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. 
<laughs> Move to another town. I, I, I just found that funny. Up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. <laughs> yeah, see, the first time... I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. Now see, the very first time I did this, I was stuck. Because it doesn't highlight the word jump. You just pretty much have to listen. Because if you don't listen to what they have to say, you would be completely lost. But if you destroy everything, everything in this room, in this house, apparently. I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. Wow, this is his whole house. This is like the upstairs of his house. Now, let me just jump around like an idiot. See, Squidward? I knew that you could help me out. You're I skipped the a cut. Mm. I skipped a cutscene. Don't touch me. There you go. Some of the socks you can't really get because you have to wait till later on to get a certain move. Thank you, Squidward. Look at him. Just flinch it back. Now watch this. The original, he says, Hey! <laughs> Love messing with the characters. Because there's just reactions are so funny. The reactions are um, terrific. The new version, everybody just a acts differently. Like their um, reactions when you hit them. Like Squidward um, flinches. Patrick falls on his butt. I'm going to try not to curse either because this is Spongebob. Either that or I'm going to bleep it. At least he had underwear on. Because, you know, you really wouldn't think Patrick would wear underwear. Just socks. Living under a rock. Now that's the life. Now this is Patrick's full home. I, I mean, just make a sand castle of a TV and boom. Now all you have to do here is hit his chair. Hey, you! Patrick needs to do laundry. Just imagine what his house smells like. No offense, Pat. I love you. I love Patrick. Even though he he can't get under your nerves sometimes. It's a great game. I'm glad I got into it. And I got my face cam. I know a lot of you wanted to see that again, and hey, I understand. Just sometimes I just don't want to because I don't want to be a distraction. Well, hey, if I'm a distraction, hey, I can't help that. But no, seriously, I don't want to be a distraction. I want people to enjoy the game instead of oh, instead of people, you know, focusing on me. <clears throat> but when I finish this whole game, every single game I do, there's going to be a full game with no commentary. I get all the collectibles, everything. That's what I do. See, see, look up, bubble. Dang, you can barely even see bubble, buddy. It's so bright. God? Neptune? See, his hat flips. Usually when you hit him in the, the original version, he's like, his hat just floats. Now, to get the underwear, you have to do this. You have to do that, and you gotta press this. Well, that activates it. I thought this over here would. Come on, that time's ticking down. See, he grabs onto the ledge. Now I can wear four pairs of underwear. This is great. Fresh like a spring breeze. And there we go. Opens up for me. Ah. Dang. Looks like his pineapple really got sunburned. See, it opens up for me. It's amazing. All right, now last thing we gotta do is talk to talk to Mr. Krabs. SpongeBob, 
This flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. That sucks. <laughs> no more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm going to help you out. And of course make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. Six, just be prepared. Because every time you want to talk to him, it says, So, you want to trade enough shiny objects for a golden spatula? Just be aware. Because most of the time you have to give away a lot. And if you don't have that much... I mean, he's not going to tell you to, you know, go away. But, like, in your quest, you'll have to recre recreate... Or recollect everything. Because I know if you go in a certain area... You have to recollect everything. Everything just respawns itself. Like the Tiki's like when I came out as Patrick's on Rock and SpongeBob's Tiki. Everything just completely reset itself. So that's kind of good. See? Like I, um, like I already smashed them sh Tiki's. This is stealth. Yeah, I'm the only YouTuber that, um, that wants stealth in SpongeBob. Get real. Okay, so first is Jellyfish Fields, and there's 14 socks. That's probably the most socks you're going to get in this whole area, or than any other world. And some of them you won't be able to, to collect, because you have to wait till later on. So let's do it! This is such a great map. Such a great level. This is where you actually meet the robots themselves. And there's a boss fight at the very end. Some of them, some of the levels have boss fights. Ah, uh, the rolling green hills of Jericho Look at the grass. Fields, a place to experience nature at its most raw. And sometimes a bit tender from Dude, the Duplicatron. Tron. That's where it spawns the robots. That's our, that's our first enemy. Sock. It's like, uh, just go ahead. <laughs> wow. His nose looks like a gigantic horn's nest. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. <laughs> you look clammy, and oh my gosh, you're bald! What the heck is that? That's the exact same reaction um you get when you play or when you watch that movie SpongeBob uh the movie. I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well. According to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j j Jellyfish? So they react more instead of just staying one low emotional act. Well, I guess you're off to scale Spork Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here. Balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward. I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Here we go. Look at the grass. Look how good that looks. The water. See, there's a sock in there. You can't really get it yet. I mean, you can, unless you want to die. So this is our very first enemy. I, I keep forgetting what the names of them are. Jellyfish. This is goo. Patrick nor SpongeBob can swim. And neither can Sandy. They forgot to mention Sandy. Sandy is amazing to play as. Because she has like a little triple jump or like a little rodeo cowboy spin. Teleport box. Yep. There's a box all the way up there. Pretty much where the Duplicatron was. Jellyfish today. I'm going fishing for robots. Yep. 
I feel like a new sponge. Just collect all the um all the flowers. Pants. Even if it's just some little thing, collect them. Cause like you saw up there, you're gonna have to get 125. Now, I know the original version, there was like like 2,000 you have to get, or 1,500. So in the original, there's a lot more. But they completely toned down the amount. Because it was such a pain to, um, it was such a hassle to get all of them at once. So look how good it looks. How amazing the graphics look. The robots. So far, these are probably the easiest enemies. But no, don't let that fool you. They're probably the third most annoying enemy in the game. The third most annoying because they can send you a far back distance away. As soon as they hit you with a whoop, they can pretty much send you from here or here all the way to here. And trust me, that's not... that is terrible. Get every single bit of coins or flowers you can get. See, underwear. That always amazes me how he never dies as soon as he hits, like, a, a really high amount. Like a high cliff. Because I know if you play Pac-Man, you, you have to curl up into a ball and hit the ground really hard to not get hurt. Which I think is weird, but hey, that's how it goes. Some guys just react different, and some just react just like all the others. Go down here, and boom, another sock. I remember almost every location. Boy, had to be glad to have Another golden spatula. I'll tell you how to get that later on. But for each video, I'm going to go through every single world. So I need 125, and I got plenty of it. Just I like to get every single bit of coin. I'm going to be saying coins so dang much. They're flowers. Reefs, whatever the heck. 125 shiny objects. The little effect they did was great. Yeah, we'll get that to there later. So so far the enemies, the little, the little robots aren't a um a big deal, but later on they'll start to become really aggressive. Like as soon as you get close to them, boom, they'll just swipe you straight away. I don't know why I'm even going for that. See, when they, when they make that noise, they're coming for you. Look at SpongeBob. And I know when they hit you, they do like a little victory dance or a victory level. Like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, ah, ha, 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 ha. They do a little victory dance or a victory laugh. Or a victory dance and a victory laugh. Which can be a little... It's supposed to be taunting. But hey, it is what it is. Now this... This is um, a freezeable fruit. A freeze fruit. You can't use it unless you have Sponge... Or Patrick. Freezy fruit. God, this brings back memories. I'm so glad this game's back and rehydrated. I thought this game was gone forever for me. But nope. So glad SpongeBob still makes an appearance now. Of the game industry. Because it was back in 2003. you you think they probably would have forgotten about it. But no, they did it. Since so many good things are happening now for SpongeBob. Yeah. Ah, I'll leave those two there. Or robots. Later on, we'll get too pretty. Can't take it. Later on, we'll get some pretty messed up robots. Like they're gonna be more deadlier, and they take a lot more hits. And you have to probably kill them in a certain way to kill them a lot quicker. Just be careful. Grab onto the ledge. Told you. 
Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. God, this game is amazing. You know, if you, know, if you look online, there's like 97% of people that like this game. That's amazing. That's better. That's most of what you get now. A classic 2003 original. Pretty much. You know, it's still intact. Okay, so the blue are 10. Wait, did I get the... Did I get the purple? I probably did. It probably just reacted too fast. So the blue are 10, and I think the purple are either 50 or 100. Just be careful. Dang, look how 3D they look. It's kind of scary at the same time. All you have to do is hit it. Hey, Gary, what's shaking? Wow! 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 A bungee jump for a golden spatula! I must be in heaven! Now, some of these I probably wouldn't recommend, but hey, it's a golden spatula. I love opening presents. To get into new areas. King Jellyfish. Yep, that's the boss. And, you know, I find this a little stupid, yet really, you know, dumb, but you have to pay, like, a certain amount of coins. I mean, you don't you don't have to here. This is a freebie. But later on, you'll have to, you know, pay a certain amount of coins just to get one golden spatula. It's like, as soon as you jump on this thing, boom. Got the spatula, that's it. That's it. Move on. That's it. Or you could... Or you could get more... Uh... What the heck? Come on. Did I get it? Yes, I did. Now get ready to meet a new enemy. It's got like some, uh... These platforms look like sugar cookies. <laughs> I know, that's weird, but hey, that's what they look like. There it is. Ham. Ham. Murr. I see where they're getting with that. Points. Yeah, he does the roll. That's the same as the original. Get ready. You just met the Spongeinator. Because I know sometimes when you hit a certain amount of Emmys or so many objects at once, some random flower just comes out of nowhere and they just give it to you. Why am I going for that? The good thing is they follow you. If you get a certain amount if you get a certain distance. Just be careful. <clears throat> I mean, it's no death, but you just want to be careful. Otherwise you'll have to you'll have to come uh, walking all the way back up here. Not collecting anything, but just I guess just exploring the view and wondering. Oh man, I'm so glad they um remastered this. Now look blue. Blue are a lot more aggressive. Jellyfish, I mean. Blue jellyfish are a lot more aggressive. Because their sting is like a little bit of a, um, a laser. It just follows you. See, don't these platforms kind of look like sugar cookies? Or the tops of them do. Wait till later on, you're gonna see something else. Now this is for a sock. You cannot get this one. 
the bubble bowl. That's a great move. It shines. Look at the water effect. The little outer rings coming on the goo. It's just outstanding. It is such a good job. I was trying to see if I could get both of them at the same time. Later on, these enemies will get way more aggressive. They will. Ah, uh, just do it. Just do it. Go! Oh, just do it. Just do it. There we go. I know when you die, this realistic, um, sailorman hand just grabs you, like... Just puts you down somewhere. You want to go all the way over here. I mean, you don't have to, but it's for a sock. But I suggest getting it unless you want more golden spatulas. Hey, you. Now, sometimes these little boingy little sponge things. I don't know what the heck that goes to. Let's see, watch. They just fly you to a, um, a certain point they want you to go to. Yep, there's the teleport box. Watch. In the original, it shakes. So just in case you want to come back or you forgot something, like a golden spatula, or you see an opportunity that you couldn't really get before, you can just go all the way back. What the heck? What is he doing? Look at him. That one episode where Squidward was reading his diary, when he sees like little man skirts, he clucks like a chicken. And I found that really weird. In the original version, you get like five of those blue coins, but here, for some weird reason, you just get less. And as soon as you get done completing an area, you get a golden spatula. And I already have enough to go into downtown Bikini Bottom. Which is perfect. This game is amazing. Just brings back good memories and good times. Wow! Mermaid Man! I have all your comics and toys and mail! <laughs> huh? W what? Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! <laughs> so here's another box, and for a good reason, too. Mermaid Man's got them pink slippers on. Yep, sliding down with his tongue. I bet that hurts. Now, if you go this way, you get an extra sock. And once you go up here, it's another one. And that box, and that box is there just in case you missed the jump. Help Patrick, he's unreachable. So you have to hit the switches and get rid of the duplicatrons. And, and they spawn these little robots and the hammer robots. Take that. Sometimes 
Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Hammer. I get it. See, exactly. Hammer. Because it's like his hammer is a gigantic piece of metal ham. Just my size. Now, the, the final one is up here. probably just gonna kill the rest of the robots just to get them out of the way make it safer for spongebob because get we're getting ready to play as patcher tartar sauce hey spongebob Whew. thank goodness you're safe patrick well of course spongebob why wouldn't i be weren't they hitting yourself well, the robots and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. It's a golden back scratcher. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Yep. Continuing as Patrick. And look at this little... It's a, it's a belly... Move. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Belly bash. Now, I know in the original you can't you can't do it in midair. That's one thing they improved. Look, you can you can do this to stun enemies, and you can pick up throw fruits and freezy fruits, and you can also pick up enemies and other tiki's to throw them at other tiki's. But you gotta be quick though. It's a cowboy. And that's a bus, um... A bus sign. Or bus light. What's... How many of these do I have to carry? Over 9,000. So you can switch between Spongebob or Patrick. But I don't really understand why would they put that there, because... You need Patrick. Like, pretty much... Almost this whole entire way. Until you get to the end of this world. And they improved the, um, where to throw the fruit. It's not just showing an arrow. It's actually showing a little circle. Of where it wants to go. And, it's just show and it shows it instantly. It doesn't stutter a little bit. It just shows it straight away. Now watch this. Pick it up and throw it. I like that. Oh! Uh, see, he throws it at some objects that you don't want him to throw. Hey, you barnacle head! Watch where you're going! The rock is talking to me. Oh, mighty rock! I am at your command! Down here, you big pink lummox! Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. God, that hurt his voice. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knock-off wallets. Oh, thank you. Eat belly. Button. But Patrick doesn't have a up, up move. Good thing is you can do it in the air. That's one thing they improved about him. Ooh, scary dark Be careful about these, these lava balls. One touch, yep. It's not like Mario where you get 
If you get hit by lava, boom, you're automatically dead. No, it ain't like that here. You touch it, you're gonna lose a uh, you're gonna lose a piece of underwear. Ooh, wooden presents. That watermelon grows fast. See, like I don't even have to even watch. Whoa. I thought it would work instead of using them on the watermelon. Wait as a whistle. Just hurry up and use it before it. Woo! Up we go! Oh, I hate this part. Because when it comes up, it scares the living daylight out of me. Ah, eh, we'll see the point. That has to hurt his stomach. Look at the spikes. That's 3D right there. At least they give you a bit of a warning. I just find it amazing, as soon as you walk on it, it doesn't, like, poke his feet a little bit. Sometimes you just want to hurry up and get out, and hurry up and rush. But, yeah, you just got to be patient. Be extremely patient. Go. I never understood why they put that there. Get ready. Ooh. See, he grabs onto it too. Every single um, character grabs onto a ledge. Ah, pick it up. Woo! Barely made it. Get ready. You gotta be, you gotta be, really be aware here. Cause I've died several times the first time I did this. Cause I can't run into these tiki's. So shiny. Another box. And the freezing fruits here. All you do is throw it in the goo. Gives it that real life um icicle effect. Oh goody, another one! See that actually looks like frozen water. That's what's so cool. Because the original version is just a light shade of blue, that's it. Oh no you don't. <laughs> the robot go boom. Oh, I about had me there. Now watch what you can do here. See when they're like that? You can throw them against... You can throw them. There you go. Get ready to go into the next area. But in this version, see, we knocked them unconscious. It doesn't little show the little ring around their head, which shows they're dizzy or unconscious. So yeah, you pretty much have to just do it straight away, or sometimes you just gotta guess. But this is the final area. Well, no, two more areas right after this. And we're getting ready to meet another enemy. Ahoy there! Squidward tells me you're looking for the King Jellyfish. Yes. Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor! Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Look, it's like, you just knock me down. <laughs> Oh, this game is great. Here's the new enemy. To be completely honest with you, I think this enemy is more aggressive in this version than the original. I'll say he thinks he was going to stand. Oh, 
I'm not really sure what the name is. They don't really tell you the names. Some of them they do. But watch. It actually shows it where it's going to go, though. That's the good thing about it. It actually shows where it's going to, you know, shoot at. And trust me, it can shoot a very good way. A very far distance away. It can see you from a far distance away, and it can shoot a very far distance away. It's unexpected. Kaboom. So yeah, they're a pretty annoying enemy. This is Puff. Hello, Mrs. Your boyfriend's Puff. on the other side. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for Mr. you to Krabs, do. Mr. I mean. Oh, boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Show sure enough, Mrs. Puff. There's SpongeBob. You pretty much won't need him yet. Here we go. Now this is where it comes into play. Ah, it hit me. I got hit by one of the enemies. Come on, hurry up. What the heck? I Oh, you gotta do a double jump. See the very the the first jump it won't register. It can get him from a good way too. That's much better. It only gets him from a certain distance. That's what's really annoying about it. What is a whistle? There we go. The water lowers, and the duplicatron is drowned. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Look how crystal clear Patrick's teeth is. You think they'd be disgusting, but hey, don't judge a book by its cover. Now that looks like a sugar cookie over there. Well done, Patrick. You're a real star. <laughs> Can I get a cookie? No. <laughs> Use a golden special to flip the cookies over. I'm just saying. Pretty sparkly thingy. Okay, I'll leave those alone. For now. Now see, you can't sneak up on them like Spongebob can. You can't. You have to throw something at it. See? Love the way they move. You can't throw the little robots. So don't even try that. Ooh, again! Again! See? Look how aggressive they are. Watch, I'm gonna go from a far distance. Watch. They can still see you. It's still looking at me. Don't think they can't reach you. They can. As soon as you hit it, get ready to hit it again. Because as soon as you hit the Tartar Sauce robot, it automatically shoots out three um, blasts. Three bits of it. Ah! See what I mean? They do a victory dance. It gets extremely annoying later on. Some of, some of the enemies have extremely annoying. Come here. I can't pick them up. Come on. Now this you need SpongeBob. You need the uh the cruising missile. It's like where you have to control it. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits that's, quite that's right. That's what you need. Ooh, 
present in every one. See? See what I mean? They're extremely aggressive. And that's a stone tiki. It cannot be destroyed unless uh, a, a um thunder tiki has hit it. Or it could be thrown out of bounds. Like goo. Alright, here we go. This is where I get probably the most flowers in the whole game. Don't you even try it. That's much better. I always struggle trying to get this purple little uh come on. I'm getting it. Got it. Now I gotta try to make it back with, uh, without getting hurt. Whoa, look at all of them. Come on, spawn three more so I can get more flowers. See, look how many flowers I have. And I only need 150 pro to progress. Come on. Hi, Mrs. Puff. Now that's a sugar cookie. Look at that. A giant sugar cookie. I guess just more target practice. Just in case you forgot how to do it. There's another sock. Okay, you can do it for these guys. I just found that weird how you can't really pick them up, though. You saw me hit that thing. I ah, see, sometimes it doesn't show it. You're welcome. How many of these do I have to carry? Like I said, over 9,000. Or how many you can hold in your pocket. Just trust me, Patrick could probably hold like his whole house in his pocket. Giant sugar cookie. Hey, this is mine! All you need to do is jump back on this thing. Don't even try to even try to jump back on that cookie. Because trust me, it's not going to work. That's the teleport box. Uh -oh. This one goes boom. And I think that's what that's for, for this robot. Oh, what? God. Hmm. I get so nervous doing that because I feel like I'm gonna fall off every time. There's a freezing fruit. I'm not really understanding why that's there. I really don't understand why that's there. Maybe just to get the purple flower? Who knows? Maybe that's what it's for. Other than that, I'm not exactly sure. Now look at this platform. Looks like a gigantic breadstick you get from Olive Garden. I'm just saying. It does. But you gotta be very quick here. Don't look down, Patrick. Don't look down. Ah, I look... There we go. It didn't move for some weird reason because I kept jumping. Ouch. <laughs> A robot go you just keep laughing at me. Just keep on laughing. That's much better. Okay, jump on this. Grab the ledge. Go all the way down. Just more health and more flowers. There we go. Blowing it out of the freaking water. Now this is where you need SpongeBob. Nice to see you again. Wall jump. 
Once you get to the Flying Dutchman's graveyard, this is gonna be a big thing you're gonna be doing. And in this version, he does it a lot faster. Like, super sauna fast. Like, in one second, he's already up to the top. Whoa! That was, it's like six of them. You've just met the sponge. And if you get hit, there's no invincibility frame. There's no invincibility frame. It's like, you get hit multiple times at once, you get hit multiple times at once. Just see that. Tartar sauce. No, not that. Horror. Not that. This fish right here, he just dabbed. Well, you saw the back of him. But I'm just like, okay, SpongeBob doing the dabbing now. But other than that, let's finish it off. Because this is where it ends, right up here. The final area, I mean. Bubble Buddy! Gosh, everyone is trying to help out today! Step quietly there. That king jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck! You'll need it. Yep, exactly. This gigantic jellyfish is gonna be the, the boss. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. Fresh like a spring Yeah, to give me all your help back. I feel like a new spot. And I actually need it there. There he is. Hey, look at it. Look at him. He's singing along to the, the jellyfish music. I knew the king jellyfish was big, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice? <laughs> <laughs> yep. And usually the sub bosses look at their life. One, two, and three. Green is full. Yellow is halfway, and red, yeah, that's one hit. So you have to hit him three times. And the sub bosses on these levels, like where you have to just, you know, um, like just keep going through a quest, and then the next area you have to kill a boss, they always will have three hits. And then once you get to, like, the Chum Bucket, Asylum, or Industrial Park, there'll be a full life. Three green, three yellow, and three red. So that's a total of nine. Get ready to jump. Then once he does that, hit him. Look, I'm so mad. Like I said, they react, they react a lot more in this game. Jellyfish are really aggressive here, just be careful. Yeah, be careful of the last one. The last one is very fast. I'm trying not to get hit at all. I'm gonna try not to get hit. Get ready. Look how fast that is. What? You saw me hit that thing, didn't you? I know I hit it. I probably hit the little, the stem, or the little, this floating tentacles. I probably, as soon as I was about to hit him, I landed on the tentacles. Get the jelly. Make sure you wait till the water drains. And that's the only collectible. Right beside the socks. And I'm about to get and I'm about to get all the golden spatulas. Pretty much all you have to do is get down the jellyfish hill and return to Squidward. Yeah, and over here is a teleport box. Just in case if you miss um, the opportunity. They like to hide it. Now get ready. Ooh, look at that. 
Actually, feels like I'm in the ska. Now get that or get that purple. Just avoid everything else. Don't die. I haven't died yet, and I don't want to. There we go. A sock. Oh God, laundry. these these paths are so narrow. Opening presents. Okay, get, get it. And I got ten. That's spatula seeker. That's a trophy. Let's see, this is where it goes back up. So if you miss it, you're pretty much screwed. Hey, lady. Yep, she does the spin. There's Larry. Larry the buff lobster. See, no problem. You could do anything you set your mind and your muscle to. That's such a true saying. L living like Larry. Don't scratch the paint. Now all you have to do is jump on this. All the way back to the start. Then once you get the golden spatula, that's pretty much the end. Oh, gotta give it to Squidward. Yeah, don't just walk out yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Um, what if I just gave you this? Jellyfishing. It's a trophy. And watch. Jellyfishing is done. Well, except the socks. But once I play the full game, I'm gonna get all the socks. Every single collectible in the whole game. That's gonna be with no commentary. That's what I do all the time. And there you go. Jellyfish Fields is done. Next, downtown Bikini Bottom, which is right here. So, I'll leave it here. I cannot wait for more of this game. And I'll see y'all in the next video before we do downtown Bikini Bottom in the SpongeBob SquarePants Battle of Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Eat us out.